Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a Rain Bloom chapstick or lipstick holder. You can make yours with a strap or without a strap. I've had many requests to make this tutorial, so this is for everyone who asked me to make this. The supplies you'll need are a Rain Bloom or a Monster Tail, rubber bands, today I'm using gray, purple, and pink. And you also need a rain balloon hook or a crochet hook. So please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. If you are making it on your rain balloon, this is how you're gonna set it up. So what you're gonna do is take out your middle piece, well, your middle row. Then you're going to take out your big blue piece and move it down for more support. Then on this row, you're going to turn it around so that the arrow points away from you. Now push it down. And you're going to use eight pegs on the loom. I'm going to use these. If you're using them, you can use these four or any four. But I'm using my monster tail. So this is how you're gonna start. I find that making this bottom doesn't use as much rubber band, so this is how you're gonna make it. You're gonna take a rubber band, twist it on your finger, then you're going to make an X on these two pegs. So place it down, hold it down, make an X. Push that down, take another rubber band, Twist it on your finger. Then you're going to make an X on your next two pegs. Like that. Push it down. And do it one more time. Take a rubber band. Twist it on your finger. Then you're going to make an X. So that's how you would start it on your mini monster tail. And if you are using your rainbow loom, this is how you'll set it up. So I'm going to turn mine like this, and I'm gonna use eight pegs. So I'm gonna take my first rubber band, I'm gonna twist it on my finger, just like I did for my monster tail. Just twist it on your finger. And then you're going to make an X on your first two pegs. Then you're going to take another rubber band, twist it on your finger, make an X on your next two pegs. Take another rubber band, twist it on your finger. I'm going to make an X on these two pegs because I don't want to do it over my blue piece. So you're going to make an X on the next two pegs. Then you're going to do these two. And push them down. So now you should have four X's if you are using your rainbow loom. And if you are using your monster tail, you should have three X's. Now after that, you're going to make simple X's starting where the red is. So you're gonna make an X on your first two pegs. Do not push them down. Make an X on these two. It's hard when you don't wanna push them down, but do it the best you can. Just go around. And then do your last one. Now, if you are using your rainbow loom, this is how you'll do it. You're going to start on these two pegs. 
make an X, then you're going to go around and make X's. So make an X, but do not push them down because this is your top row and the bottom X's are our bottom row. Just go all the way around. Now, on your monster tail, you have a bottom row and a top row. And we're going to take our bottom loops over the top. So, starting on this peg, we're going to grab this one rubber band. It looks like two loops because you twisted it. Just bring it over the top. Bring that X over the top. Bring this X over the top. Then you can push them down. And do your last three. Now you're going to do the same thing for your rainbow loom. You would just take your bottom loops over the top. Just like this, bring it over the top, over the top. Then push them down. And you're gonna do the same steps that I'm gonna show you for your monster tail on your rainbow limb. So, now that you have your bottom set up, we're going to start laying top rows. So, you're just going to lay it in a clockwise rotation. Lay your rubber bands normally. And do the same thing if you are using your rainbow loom. Make sure you're laying them in a clockwise rotation. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're going to take our bottom loops over the top. Grab these two over the top. Each peg will have two rubber bands to bring over the top. Now you're going to go around in a clockwise rotation again. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're going to take our bottom loops over the top. Remember, each peg will have two rubber bands. Now push this down. We have just done two rows together and you want to have 17 rows in total. So please do 15 more rows of laying your rubber bands in a clockwise rotation, then bringing your bottom loops over the top and push them down as you go. And you're going to do the same thing for your rainbow loom. Lay them in a clockwise rotation, bring your bottom loops over the top and push them down as you go. I'll be right back. This is what it looks like after I did my 15 more rows. Now I have 17 rows in total. I did not count the bottom X's as a row. I just used them as my bottom. And for my pattern, I did three rows of my first color. And then I did two rows of my other colors. Now let's hook it off. So you're going to start on the peg that is red with the red. And you're just going to stick your hook in, grab your bottom loop over the top. And as you can see, it's not going towards this way. It's leaning over towards this side. See? And I'm going to put it on this peg. Then I'm going to continue hooking all the way around. 
you're just going to take your bottom loop over the top and onto the peg next to it. And I can tell that that was my bottom loop because it hooked the loops behind it. And I'm just going to continue this all the way around my monster tail. See, it hooked because it grabbed the loop behind it. Just make sure you check them as you go. Now, on your last peg, you're going to stick your hook in, grab a rubber band, pull this through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other to make a slip knot. Now we're going to help our loops off, and we'll be done. Now you can pull it out and you can just stretch out the top so your loops get adjusted. You can make a strap and C-clip it on or tie it on, but I'm going to leave mine just like this. I just wanted to show you an example of what you can do with this. You can make a strap and I made a double single, which means I used two rubber bands each time and just made a regular single chain, but you can do whatever you like. You can add a C-clip to this side and this side, and then they're connected, or you can tie these two loops together. But you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. This is what they look like when they're done, and this is what it looks like with a strap. You can make your strap as long or as short as you want it to be. And if you put a chapstick in, you can always push it up just a little bit, then take it off, and there you go. Then you can push it back down into its case. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!